In this video, I'm going to be quickly going over five programs that are great tools for protecting your privacy and providing anonymity while browsing the internet. These programs are Chromium, the Tor Browser Bundle, PeerBlock, BleachBit, and Freenet. Now, all of these programs are completely free to download and use. They're all open source software, and PeerBlock is a Windows-only program, BleachBit is a Windows and Linux uh, program, and the rest of them work on Windows, Linux, and Macintosh. I'm using Windows 7 to run these programs, and if you're interested in download links for these, uh, you can find those just by searching them in Google, or you can find links as well on my website, tjfree.com. Um, this first program we'll look at is Chromium. Um, and Chromium is the open source version of the Chrome web browser, but it has this feature to browse in incognito. You may be familiar with it. You just go to New Incognito Window or push Control Shift N, and you've got a new incognito window. And what this does, if I go to Craigslist.com, any site that you go to is going. It's not going to save any um, history to your web browser. It's not going to save any cookies um, to your browser permanently. As soon as you push this red X or close out of the program. Um, all that information is gone. Any evidence of you ever being on that site will be completely gone from your computer. But now that's just from your computer, though, just from your end. So I'll just show you here. We're on Craigslist. If we close and go to our history, it shows no evidence that we were ever on Craigslist. But um, on Craigslist knows that we were there. They're, they're going to see my IP address, and they're going to know that I was there, and maybe that I was there yesterday. So it only, it only blocks it on the one end, or it only protects you on information on your computer. Does that make sense? Now, Tor um, is a is a program that can get kind of protect you on both ends. What Tor does is it will actually reroute all of your internet traffic and information through multiple sites around multiple physical computers around the world, and it'll create a unique proxy IP address for you. And so when you're browsing sites, they'll have a hard time pinpointing exactly where you are in the world and finding out exactly who you are. So it protects your identity that way. It also has the same features as incognito in that it won't store any, um, any uh, browsing history or cookies on your computer. As soon as you close out of it, all that information is gone. Now it's set up right now to use the Firefox browser. Um, I'm not sure if you can switch and use it with other browsers or not. but um, So see, it gives me this new unique IP address, and now I can go to... Um, Craigslist again. Only this time, they're not going to know it's me. They're going to, it's going to be. They're not going to know who I am. They're going to have a, a tough time finding out exactly where I'm at in the world and and what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, that's Tor, the Tor web browser. And as soon as you close out of it, you don't have to do anything else. It just closes out of the whole program and stops the browser from running. So, um, this next program is PeerBlock, and what PeerBlock does is it blocks specific known. Um, IP addresses and websites that try and get information off of your computer. Um, when you're connected to the internet, there's all kinds of opportunities for people to bounce into your computer, see what kind of files you have on your computer, get personal information from you. So it blocks sites that are known to do that, um, to get information without your consent, basically. And you can get these different lists. You can subscribe to, like, anti-spyware lists, anti-advertising lists that are put out and supposedly kept up to date um, to protect you from... And you can see exactly which... If we go view here, it'll show you a list of which IP addresses it's blocking, who they're associated with. Um, yeah, so... And you can also specifically block a certain site if you want or block a certain IP address. So and you so you could use this to almost as like an internet filter. You could use it for your children if you wanted to, um, if you have children. <laughs> and uh, Or you can use it for yourself to keep people from getting on your computer and getting personal information about you and what you do with your computer and whatnot. Okay, so that is PeerBlock. Um, this next program is BleachBit. And it's a cool program. It's just a simple cleaning program. It cleans off junk information that accumulates on your computer, and it also cleans private, cl clears off some information, um, private information and, uh, you know, sensitive information on your computer. It, it has lots of different, let me shrink all these down, so it'll check, it'll clear out Flash information from programs like Flash. Um, I have LibreOffice installed, um, just like your system, like your clip, anything that's copied to your clipboard, and like your temporary files and things like that. Um, Internet Explorer, this Chromium browser we were just in. So if I have Chromium, Chromium selected now, so if we just go and see everything that it selects, all these things, it'll clear the history from Chromium, all the form history, all of the um, current sessions, the cookies, the cache. So we clear all this stuff out. It runs through it. Um, oh, cannot be cleaned because it's currently running. Well, let's try Firefox. So same thing with Firefox. 
clear all that stuff out. Yeah, delete it all. Here we go. So it's deleting all this information. Um, like I said, some of it's just stuff that gets junked up and stored up there, and other stuff is private information that you don't want to have be there. But anyway, so that's done. Um, that's how that program works. Like I said, it it's designed to work with a lot, like over, like I think hundreds of different programs that you have installed on your computer, um, depending. And this last program, Freenet, this is basically like a decentralized internet. Um, it's it's peer-to-peer -peer based, and um, they suggest that you run it all the time because it downloads like it uses a portion of your hard drive to actually host the, host content, and it's got message boards and private websites um, and f file sharing and things like that. But it's designed also to kind of keep you anonymous, and so y your information doesn't go through central hubs, you know, like. Um, well, like, like you can do email on this. It's a peer-to-peer -peer based email, so you're not going through Yahoo or Hotmail, and it's not a centralized email client. It's a decentralized one. And same with the websites, and you can have blogs and things like that when it's hosted on the user's computers and not at a central agency, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, but they've got, yeah, links. They, they share different links, and you can do, like, you can upload files for file share, and you can you can connect with just your friends. You can have a private network of five or ten or hundreds of just people you trust and only communicate with them. So it's a pretty powerful tool if you're if you want serious about your privacy or maybe you're. I know people. I've heard of people using it in countries where they're heavily censored their um, their emails and computers and things like that. So anyway, um, yeah, these are the programs I wanted to share with you today. Um, hopefully you found this informative and check out some of my other videos. I've got a great one you might like on cryptography and uh, keeping data secure on your computer. So um, please check out some of those other ones if you're interested and uh, appreciate you watching this. Have a nice day.